Relations between Japan and Korea can at times be a bit strained. And as a Suteru puts it here, sad news. Kimetsu no Yaiba succumbing to South Korea and modifying the earrings of Tanjiro, and also a quote, requesting Netflix to explain the history of Japan, a war criminal country. You may remember in the past that there was a bit of controversy surrounding Tanjiro's earrings. A select group of people would be offended that in their mind, the earrings remind them of the rising sun. HITC would further write that in response to the controversy, producers of Demon Slayer made official altercations for certain Asian countries where the anime was airing, amongst others, Chinese and South Korean streaming platforms, altered Tanjiro's earrings from the original design to a more simplified pattern, a red circle over several lines and a mountain. Back on a Suteru, it seems the issue comes down to Netflix in South Korea and some residents being offended that Netflix didn't make the same altercations that other streaming platforms did to Tanjiro's earrings. But furthermore, keep in mind, they also demanded that Netflix issue a statement talking about the history of Japan as a war criminal country. That is so insanely radical. I'll be shocked if Netflix actually caves into those demands and issues that statement against the entire country of Japan. But hey, we do live in strange times. Some pushback from the people of Japan would include mentioning that they should not be overly liable for historical issues that they did not participate in. Mentioning how political correctness in Europe and the United States is eroding content and that there is a need to fight back against such external pressures. Hilariously, they would also say, let's put the rising sun flag on all Japanese things. If you don't like it, don't look. And that's the news. Thanks for tuning in. In my opinion, you know how these companies can be. There's a chance that Netflix will actually bend the knee and change the earrings. But I don't think they'll issue that statement against Japan, like I said. Uh, but let me know what you think in the comments. And thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next one.